Hey guys, Quentin with Android.com, sitting here with the Milestone XT720 by Motorola. This device was released by Cincinnati Bell. They were the first carrier to bring it stateside. Um, they were nice enough to send us a review unit, so I wanted to go ahead and take you guys through the hardware, uh, show you what you can expect inside, what you can expect outside, and um, give you guys my opinion on various aspects of the device. But let's just go ahead and jump right into the hardware tour, starting with the set of four capacitive buttons here at the bottom uh, for menu, home, back, and search. Uh, these buttons are backlit, and it does double as a notification system. On the bottom there, you can see the microphone hole for talking on a phone. Above that, you can see the uh, 3.7 inch uh, TFT LCD display with 854 by 480 resolution. Above that, you can see the uh, speaker grill for hearing the, the person you're talking to on the other end, obviously. And then various sensors over here on the left for uh, light, light, proximity, things like that. On the left side, you can see the micro USB port covered by a door. On the right, you can see the volume rocker up and down switch. A dedicated camera mode toggle for video, still photos, and playback mode, and a dedicated shutter button. Up top, you can see the micro HDMI port covered by the uh, this plastic door here, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and a lock and power button. On the back of the device, you can see the 8 megapixel camera with the uh, LED. I'm sorry, uh, laser assisted autofocus <laughs> accompanied by the xenon flash uh, and then on the bottom here you can see the speaker grill and we have the battery door here which is just gonna take off quickly and I'll show you guys what's inside and right away you're greeted with the 1390 milliamp hour battery above that you can see the micro uh, you sorry micro SD card which is 8 gigabytes comes pre-installed protected by this latch which you just lift up and you kind of swivel over there so you can access it while the phone is still on and then next to that on the right you can see the SIM card slot but I don't have one installed currently go ahead and put the door back on uh, as far as performance specs goes, you can expect the uh, 720 megahertz processor, the same one in the Droid, that's the TI OMAP 3430, except for that in the Droid it was clocked to 550 megahertz. You can also expect 256 megs of RAM and 512 megs of ROM. Uh, right away I just want to jump into the uh, opinionated part of this review. First of all, these battery door, I'm sorry, these doors for the uh, USB port and the HDMI port, um, I could do without. Uh, it's kind of difficult to put the cord in there without, you know, to, to put it all the way in there. Uh, uh, it's kind of had to fiddle around with the door a little bit to get the, the cable to sit in there nicely. Would have uh, appreciated either the lack of a door or, you know, an extender to make sure it's out of the way. Uh, but that's just nitpicky. The data transfer still just fine the uh, um, it charged just fine and the same for the HDMI port except I wasn't able to test the uh, video performance because uh, my TV is not compatible I my TV is only up to type C uh, so I was not able to to, uh, to test that because you need a type D compatible uh, HDTV another thing I didn't really like uh, was the power button it's kind of recessed into its groove which it, it makes it stand out from the rest of the, uh, the rest of the top of the device um, and if you if you're used to it you know you're gonna know where it's at uh, but it's definitely something to get used to uh, kind, kind of hard to push without looking for it because sometimes you might press the, uh, uh, the, the, the headphone jack and not know it because it kind of feels the same here at the top um, but one thing I really did like, uh, and this is one of the main draws of the phone itself, is the Xenon flash on this, uh, accompanied by the 8 megapixel camera and the laser assisted autofocus. Um, this phone is definitely uh, worthy of replacing your point and shoot. Uh, you, wouldn't, you shouldn't have any uh, worries when purchasing, purchasing this device uh, if you're expecting to uh, replace your 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 normal digital camera with it's not going to replace your digital SLR but uh, definitely will replace any point and shoot you have on you and that is driven home by the fact that they include these uh, dedicated camera centric buttons the the shutter button and the the, the mode toggler uh, which lets you switch between video photos and uh, playback uh, pretty nice it really makes it a nice device for capturing images and I'll show you guys more on that in the camera review camera review later on. Um, as far as the aesthetics go, I really like the blue accents on the back, uh, the blue 
the, the entire back is blue, not just accents. Uh, and it's quite similar to the color scheme on the new Droid 2 uh, with the silver on the front. If you look at it in person, it looks really nice. I'm not sure how it looks to you guys on the video, uh, but it's very easy on the eyes. Um, doesn't look like a child's play toy as some might describe the Droid 2. Um, it looks really nice. Has that same material as the original Droid and the Droid 2 and the Milestone and all that. Um, and it's in, it takes a lot of its uh, cues from the front as well with the little dip here. Um, except for this dip on the on the uh, the Milestone and the Droid 2 and the Droid 1. Um, that was because there was a keyboard, the hardware keyboard. There's no hardware keyboard on the uh, XT720 uh, which makes it a lot thinner. Um, still not the thinnest device I've seen, but it's definitely pocketable. Um, nothing to complain about there. It feels nice in the hand. It feels like if you ever drop it, it won't break. It won't shatter into pieces or anything like that. Um, and if it, if you are the type to drop your phone a lot, you're going to want to put a, a protective case on this anyway. Um, but other than that, I didn't really have anything... Uh, there's not really much to it besides this uh, this uh, Xenon flash on the back. Uh, the camera is is really the biggest draw for this device. Uh, you'll read more about that in my camera review. Um, the HDMI is quite nice, but again, I couldn't test it, so I can't give you guys a real opinion on how that performed. Uh, the battery life on this phone is quite good. I went a day and a half without um, on one on a full charge, a day and a half without having to uh, plug it up once. Uh, that was with several services singing at once. Uh, probably listened to music of, uh, for maybe 30 minutes or so, um, and taking various photos and, and video. Uh, but it, it lasted throughout the day. Uh, I didn't have to charge it until the next morning, so uh, you're gonna like that. Even though it's only 1390 compared to maybe 1500 or 1750 you'll see in other devices, uh, it didn't really matter because uh, battery drain was a non-issue for me. Uh, one thing I didn't like about the hardware was uh, this bottom row. It kind of blinks um, when you get a notification. That's cool for notifications to replace an LED, uh, an LED based system, but sometimes it doesn't go away. Um, like, I'm not sure if you guys, I'm, I'm not sure if I'll be able to reproduce it in this video, but uh, sometimes if you turn the device on, the lights will stay on. I'm not sure how much of an effect that has on battery, uh, but uh, definitely is annoying. And sometimes when you turn it on, the lights won't come on. Um, they come on. They'll, they'll come on here, or they'll keep blinking, or sometimes they'll just stay off. Or it's just really annoying. I just, I wish it was something. Uh, I wish they, I hope they have a fix for it in the pipeline. Uh, but uh, as far as my testing goes, it, it happened quite often. Um, not to the point where it's a, it's a, a, a breaking experience. Um, definitely, just something you have to get used to. You have to make sure you know the orientation, the layout of the buttons at the bottom, um, because like I'm used to the home button being on the left on most phones, um, or most new or most new HTC phones rather, uh, instead of the uh, menu button. So that's something I had to get used to uh, with the with that problem. But I just wish it's something they would fix. Uh, hopefully, they have a fix for that coming up. Other than that, uh, the screen is just as vibrant as you would expect from a TFT LCD. It's no Super AMOLED, but the uh, resolution really helps that uh, helps the clarity of it all. Um, it's not the, the screen size is only 3.7 inches, so uh, it's not like uh, you know you're trying to cram, uh, you're trying to stretch the image out without cramming more pixels into that. So it still looks really nice. It, it does well in sunlight, just like you would expect from any other LCD, uh, but. Uh, pretty much nothing special with that just like you would expect on any other device um, but other than that uh, that's all you can really take away from the hardware uh, the processor makes for uh, some for, for decent Android performance it's not that you know it's no snapdragon of course it's 720 megahertz TI OMAP 3430 um, but it's it's well enough for navigating between different apps um, keeping apps in memory so for easy switching without you know much of a delay there's no delay at all really um, uh, it performs just as nicely actually as a lot of uh, uh, 1 gigahertz devices on the market these days but um, that's it we're gonna go ahead and jump into the software review next uh, so stay tuned for that video and then the camera review will be more or less just showing you guys samples uh, of the camera of uh, the video the still photos and showing you guys how the xenon flash works I'm gonna go ahead and do some uh, on-screen uh, snapshots later on. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.